going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jay's Pokey Stop. As you can see, we are not in the ripping room yet, so it's been kind of a kind of a tradition going on here. So it's not Friday yet, but it, it it's only Thursday. I'm actually off work tomorrow, so I'm definitely gonna go hunting tomorrow too. But I decided, hey, let's go see if we can't catch a restock a little bit early. I'm definitely gonna check out my local Walmart that I normally go to that usually restocks on Friday. But I also want to check out um, maybe a Best Buy, maybe a Target, see if we can't find some other stuff out there. I'm looking for Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, the two main sets I want to open up right now. Try to still hunt that Umbreon alternate art as well as that Charizard alternate art from Brilliant Stars. So without further ado, let's go hop on the road. Let's go hunting. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Definitely, you already know we're going to bring it back here to the ripping room, crack it open. See if we can't pull some awesome stuff, guys. Let's go hunting. guys we're back out in the car that was pretty crazy I, I honestly i know a lot of people are not gonna like to hear this but i don't think they got a restock since uh last time i was here actually so i think all that stuff is still remaining from the last time i was here a week ago so um there's definitely some lucario boxes in there um the more peco v union boxes um stuff like that but I ended up just going going ahead and grabbing some single sleeve blisters of Evolving Skies. I think I picked up like 10 or so. Um, now we're going to head over to Best Buy and see if we can't find some more blisters. I'm really looking for Brilliant Stars too, so if we can find any of that, I'm going to pick it up. And they're a little bit cheaper over there, which is always a plus. So let's go to Best Buy and see what they got. So they actually had quite a bit of stock. They had, uh, they didn't have, unfortunately they didn't have any Evolving Skies uh, blisters, but they did have Brilliant Stars. So I ended up picking up like ten of those too. So let's go back to the ripping room, see if we can't uh, pull either that Umbreon or that Charizard out of these blisters, guys. I'm super pumped. I can't wait to crack these open. I'll see you back in the ripping room. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the ripping room. So. Here in front of us, we got our purchases from today. So I was actually, I'm kind of glad I stopped by Walmart first and picked up some Evolving Skies because uh, Best, uh, Best Buy did not have any. So I actually picked up 10 of the blister packs from Evolving Skies. And these are actually a little bit more expensive at Walmart rather than Best Buy. They're, I think they retail for like $4.39 a piece at uh, Walmart. And then uh, at Best Buy, I was actually lucky enough to find some Brilliant Stars, so I picked up 10 of these. And these are actually only $3.99 a piece at Best Buy. So I know that's been kind of going around here recently in the Pokemon community, how everybody's jacking up their prices. Well, Walmarts and Targets, they're all jacking up their prices on both the blisters as well as Elite Trainer boxes and some premium collection boxes as well. But um, Best Buy, sticking to the roots there with the $3.99 price tag. But anyway... We'll kind of do, since I picked up 10 of each, we'll kind of do a battle, I guess. I think uh, I think that'd be pretty uh, pretty cool to see. So make sure to go ahead and comment down below which uh, set you think is going to win this battle. Evolving Skies or Brilliant Stars. So comment down below which one you think is going to win and smash that like button to lock in your uh, response there. And uh, before we get too deep into it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. I, 
been getting a lot of love here on the channel recently, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. I, it is very, very much appreciated. I love it. I love seeing that people want to watch my videos and enjoy my content. So thank you so much for that. We're almost actually to 200 subscribers. So I think once we hit that 200 subscriber mark, I'll do something special on the channel, maybe do a giveaway or something for you guys. Um, but yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this pack opening. I think I'm going to start with Brilliant Stars. We'll save the alternate art chase for after with Evolving Skies there. I know we're after that Umbreon. Um, I know I say that a lot, but um, it's such a gorgeous card. I cannot wait to pull it. But we'll get, we'll, start, we'll get started here with the Brilliant Stars first. I'll go ahead and take all these out so it's a little bit quicker for you guys. So let's, uh, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Right, guys so we got them all tore up uh tore apart there um here's our 10 brilliant stars packs fresh from the blisters let's go ahead and start off with this whimsicott artwork see what we can pull here now, obviously you know if you're a member of this channel you know we're still after both of those charizards so if we could pull either one of those well the rainbow rare and the alternate art that'd be awesome so we got a throw Oh, there we go. We got a Houndoom right off the bat from the Trainer Gallery and a Mothim. First hit already. First pack magic for Brilliant Stars. We'll dive right into the next pack here. Starting this one off with a throw. We got a Shroomish Piplup. Here we go. We got an Eevee from the Trainer Gallery as well. Not too shabby. Two hits. Two for two right now for Brilliant Stars. Now they had their packs kind of on a on a holder there. So I just grabbed the 10 front packs. So I didn't mix them up. I didn't do anything special like that. So let me know down in the comments also if you guys if that's what you guys do or do you guys go for the last pack on the on the holder there what what's your go-to oh my god jolteon and a berry full art look at that three for three guys can we keep the train rolling berry full art we got a double hit in that pack i've pulled several berries already but i will definitely take that that is awesome All right, we got Chimchar, Mencino, Grimmsnarl, and a Clefable. First pack that we did not have anything. I can't believe that. Our first three packs, guys, had uh, a Trainer Gallery hit, as well as that very full art. That is awesome. Another code card for you. Starting this one off with a Milkery. We got a Duskull and a Lectivire non-hollow. And sorry, I didn't really get the best footage at Walmart this today. I know uh, I say I've been saying that a lot. It's at Walmart's just always so crowded. I just I don't really want to get my phone out and video and do that when I'm around all those people. Um, obviously, the weather's starting to get warmer, so on a on a Thursday right here before the holiday, it's it's been it was pretty cr pretty crowded. But uh, oh, we got something here. We got gold. Magma Basin Reverse into the Magma Basin Gold. Look at that. That is awesome. Double Magma Basin. Look at that card. That is awesome looking. That's the first time I pulled that. And the centering on this thing is pristine. We pulled gold, guys, already. Brilliant stars, man. That's why I want to get another booster box of this so bad. It's just the hits on it just don't stop. We got a Milkery, a Gibble, and a Whimsicott V. Look at that. Another hit, guys. What is going on here? What is going on? We got one, two. We got six hits already. And we went through. This is pack number seven. Almost a hit every single pack. We got Impidimp here. Golette, <laughs> Dusknor, and a Haxorus non-hollow. 
Guys, I think we're going to complete the whole trainer gallery set in just this one opening. <laughs> that is nuts. We got four regular trainer gallery cards. I need to go back to Best Buy, I believe. <laughs> I'm thinking about going on another Pokemon hunt tomorrow because Friday is usually the restock day, and I'm looking for a Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer box. We got a Weavile and an Al Creamy. Nothing in that pack. All right, last pack. I cannot believe that. All right, starting this one off with a Halucha. We got a Buizel, Gibble, Execute. We got a Fracture Reverse and Excavalier Non Hollow. Wow, that, I, I don't care. We, we pulled awesome hits. Let me go ahead and sleeve these up real quick and we'll do a quick recap before we dive into Evolving Skies. So, a brief recap on uh, Brilliant Stars there. We got the Whimsicott V. We had Houndoom, Eevee, Jolteon, and Dusknor from the Trainer Gallery. Four different Trainer Gallery uh, cards. Given this is this is from 10 packs, guys. 10 packs. That's crazy. And then we hit Barry from the regular set, Full Art Trainer, which is awesome. And our big hit was this Gold Magma Basin. This card just... Uh, the camera does not do this card justice. It looks so cool with the texture. And that shine down there, like the gold around that Pokeball. That is awesome. I was not expecting to pull this, obviously. Um, but I seen the gold, and I was honestly hoping for one of the birds, and I kind of forgot this card was in the set. But, man, that is awesome. That is cool. So we got several hits from Brilliant Stars. Let's go straight into uh, Evolving Skies. Let's see if we can uh, make up for that with Evolving Skies. We're going to need a big hit for the, to make up for that. I know we don't have the trainer gallery spot in this set, but we got a bunch of alternate arts we can pull. So let's go ahead. We got 10 packs, like I said. Let's dive straight into it, guys. See what we can pull here. It's going to be tough, but it's possible. Evolving Skies is always... Something's always possible. All right, starting this first pack off with Tentacool with the, and a Pikachu with some Kanto vibes. I see something in this. That looks like a full art, guys. Lillipup, Bag On. We got Rescue Carrier and a Duraludon V full art. Not bad at all. Not the full art I was looking for. Hoping for an alternate art there, but yeah, that's still a good hit. I'll take it. Duraludon V full art. If you guys didn't check my last video, I actually opened up an Evolving Skies, excuse me, Evolving Skies booster box and only pulled, my big hit was a full art. So I'm glad I pulled that Duraludon out of a single pack rather than that being the only hit from a booster box. But all right, next pack here, we got Nicket, Bergmite, Roggenrola. We got a Swoobat Reverse and an Ampharos Non-Hollow. First pack magic though, that's awesome. We're definitely going to need more than that, though, to put up a fight with Brilliant Stars. Code card for you. We got the Woo Bat, Gossifleur, Feebass. Got a Hitmonchan Reverse and a Drampa, the Grandpa. All right, we got here. We got Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin. We got a Tropius Reverse and a Talonflame Non Hollow. So, I was, if you guys have seen that new set, the Time Gazer and uh, Space Juggler, or I guess two sets that came out in Japan, uh, which is going to be equivalent to our Astral Radiance. I'm actually trying to order some of those. If you guys would like to see that opened up, make sure to smash a like on this video. I'll judge uh, judge that on by, by that, and then uh, yeah, we can chase those awesome looking alternate arts in that set as well. We got a Lotad and a Gorgeist. That awesome Machamp. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you could look that up on on the internet there. Um, 
There's an awesome Machamp V alternate art, a Palkia V. Um, there's actually a Bee Drill alternate art. There's a bunch of bunch of cool alternate arts in that set, so that's something I kind of want to open up. But Woobat, Eevee, we got a Swoobat, and a Milotic. Come on, Evolving Skies. You know you can, you got it in you. We got four packs left. Duraladon or Bust. Shout out to Pokey Diz. See if it pulls through again. That's honestly I wanted to get all uh, Duraladon pack arts or blister artworks, but they didn't have any. All I could find was Umbreon and Sylveon. We got Pumpkaboo, Bagon, we got a Teddy Ursa, and a Milotic. Nothing crazy out of that one. We got one more Duraludon, it looks like. I'll save that one for last. Code card. All right, we got Lotad, Sableye, Teddy Ursa, Carvana, and a Feeble Non-Hollow. Man. Looking a little rough here. We got the one hit. Surprised we haven't even pulled any hollows yet. Code card. We got a Petalil, Dino, Treasure Energy, and an Appleton non hollow. Last pack. Can Duraldon save the day here for Evolving Skies? I might actually grab some more packs here out of my personal collection and open them up too. We got a code card for you. If we don't pull nothing out of this one. We got Time Pole, Litleo, Eevee. We got the Single Strike uh, Fang Dragon and a Lily Gant non hollow So <laughs> Alden Skies was kind of rough for us. We had that first pack magic. Let me go ahead. I got two more sitting over here. We got another one of each of those artworks here. Let me go ahead and crack these open. They get a little, I'll give Evolving Skies a little bit of a head start here with two extra packs. Since Brilliant Stars paved the way there. Got a code card. Lotad, Teddy Ursa, Lillipup, and a Floor Guys Hollow. There's our first hollow. That is crazy. Let's do one more Sylveon artwork. Actually, you know what? I got more brilliant stars, too. Let me go ahead and crack those open. While we got you here, we might as well open up some more packs, right? Make this a little bit more interesting. See if we can't pull that alternate art Zard out of some brilliant stars. We got Slackoth. We got Braviary and a Hydreigon Hollow. So our only hit from Evolving Skies, I'm not even have to, I don't even have to do a recap because it's one card. Let's hold it up here. We got it's a cool card, Duraladon V full art. And it's awesome. It's got that texture on there. And it's a the background on it looks really cool. But anyway, let me go ahead and sleeve this up real quick. There it goes. We got a Duraladon V full art. So brilliant stars versus evolving skies. That's that's crazy. Okay, I got some more brilliant stars here. How many packs we got here? Three, four, five. Got five more packs. Let's just crack these open since I got y'all here. And I plan on going hunting again tomorrow. So if I do find some more tomorrow, I'll just pick up some more for my collection. And we can just crack these open since our luck's been so crazy with Brilliant Stars. It might be a sign to go ahead and finish open up, opening up some more packs here. We got Sneasel. We got a Starmie Reverse and a Lipard Non-Hollow. Next pack here, we got the Charizard artwork on it. Just Charizard artwork, I mean, we'll pull a Charizard. We got a Golette. We got a Double Turbo Energy and a Scavalier non-holographic rare another charizard artwork the whimsicott pack art all right 
We got Ball Toy, Axu, Nose Pass. We got a Clefable Reverse and a Go Lurk Non Hollow. Maybe I should have kept these sealed. <laughs> Shaman artwork here. And another Shaman. Double Shaman. Is this uh, equivalent to Evolving Skies' Duraludon packs? We will see here. I see something back there, I believe, guys. So it might be. Let's go ahead and go through it here. We got Weasel, Carablast, Halucha, Throw, Magmar, Farfetch'd, and a Dracovish V. Nothing too crazy there, but I'll take it. All right, last pack, guys. This is the last pack. I'm not going to add any more after this one. We got the Charizard artwork, Whimsicott pack art. All right, code card, and here we go. We got Weasel, Halucha, Throw, Magmar. We got a Reverse Dredagon and Boss's Orders Hollow Rare. So. Not too bad, um, but awesome. That's that's crazy. So from uh, Brilliant Stars, our last five packs, they were actually pulled a Dracovish. Um, I'm not going to go through all the hits again. I think you can, you guys seen pretty much all of them. Um, but yeah, that should sum up the video, guys. And like I said, I'm probably going to go hunting, hunting again tomorrow for some more packs. So stay tuned for another video this weekend. Definitely going to do a double upload because I got a little bit longer weekend ahead of me. And uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, as always, and uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you're new, guys, and hit that like button, too. That goes a really long way with the YouTube algorithm and uh, gets more people to watch my videos, and that just helps me out. It's free for you guys to do, so make sure to do that for me, please. I really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We will catch you next time here on Jay's Pokestop.